so yeah and now i'm i'm here on the channel where i love talking and sharing the gospel and the good news and just personally my own journey too, sharing my journey and being transparent because again it's not easy like a lot of people like you know <laughs> let me tell you you take off this makeup you take out the my hair might get a little a little frizzy and it's a real spiritual why you when you decide to give your life to Jesus Christ and you decide to believe the testimony of Jesus, be baptized by the Holy Spirit, baby, not only do you have a, a writing on your forehead that says you belong to the Lord, but there is also a target on your back. And the biggest target, I mean, the biggest pursuer it's going to be the enemy. The enemy is going to use your old life. He's going to use your old behaviors. He's going to use people that used to know you, family members, friends. <laughs> to get you to fold and to get you to step outside of what God is trying to pull you into. If you ain't careful. I'm a living witness. I, 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 I can testify to that. That it has been hell, but so beautiful. <laughs> but it has been a journey and it's been a struggle. I'm serious. It's been a struggle walking with the Lord because it's so hard. We live in a world where you can you can just, you know, back in the days, it will be a while for you see anybody. You would have to write letters. But now we can literally log on to a computer, pick up a cell phone, and you have so many, so many images, so many people to just look at and be distracted by that it really will cause you to lose hope. But it's not easy. When you decide to give your life to God, it is not easy to surrender. It ain't. And, and a lot of people try to make it seem like it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's real cute. Until God start removing things that you thought was for you, removing people who you thought was for you. People start walking out. <laughs> Do you hear me? Oh, it's cute. Oh, when it's no longer what you thought, it's no longer your plans, but his plans. It's tough. But. It's worth it nonetheless, especially when you know the word of God. I believe, I have faith that God is a man that he shall not lie. Uh, one scripture is Romans 8 to 8. All things work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. See, we be wanting to leave the, the last part out. But when you called according to God's purpose, it don't feel good. When God start uprooting people, removing, changing your plans, uh, it don't feel good. But it's going to work out for your good because God is good. And that was so... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even, I ain't even write that down. That was off the top. That was off the dome.